areas in the medullary region. This is the left kidney and uh, you can see the rounded ecogenic globular area and few of them show internal uh, hypopoic area also. This is the whole kidney and uh, you can see that the central sinus echocomplex is muffled. This is the area where central sinus echocomplex fat is seen, not unusual to see uh, muffling of the central sinus psychocomplex in uh, cases of bilateral cal uh, nephrocalcinosis. But the kidney is being perfused normally. Function is normal. Again, you can see this is a case of sedipose, case of uh, medullary calcinosis and uh, when we try to see the thyroid gland of this patient what we see is this is the thyroid gland this is the right cube okay now this is the transfer section of the thyroid gland. This is the common carotid artery. This is the part of the isthmus. This is the right lobe of the thyroid, which is an eye. And uh, the internal hypochoic areas, these ones, are nodules. This is the left side. There is a calcification scene on the left side within it, within the. Uh, now this is also a multi-nodular sort of a nodule. This, this is the nodule. These are all these hypochoic areas uh, scattered throughout the uh, parenchyma of the both lobes. This is the. right row. They are scattered throughout the parenchyma of the thyroid over here. And here we do see an echogenicity. This is the calcification. This is the common carotid artery in longitudinal section and you can see how many hypochoic areas or nodular uh, nodules are scattered throughout this uh, left lobe of the thyroid gland which is enlarged and uh, we do not see do we see any vascularity yes it shows vascularity but of, of mild degree not highly vascular though and uh, the, it is enlarged so this is a case of uh, multinodular goiter. You see, this is the transfer section. Multinodular goiter. With medullary calcinosis. Uh, medullary 